There are many places that children aren't allowed to be, but electronic cigarette stores remain a gray area as debate continues over whether to ban stores from selling their product to minors. Among those celebrating the grand opening of aqueous vapor in Colombia, a seven-year-old boy and a five-year-old girl. Their mother, Mindy Shaw, says she thinks it's harmless. They're not getting secondhand smoke. What they're getting is vapor. It's just, you know, water, glycerin, things like that. So there's no harmful, there's nothing harmful for their lungs. And that's probably the most important thing to me. Shaw tells me she hopes by exposing her young children to e-cigarettes that they'll learn there is an alternative to smoking real cigarettes. I mean, you look at the TVs and the movies and things that they're watching now and you see cigarettes and, you know, you see all these other things that people are doing. So I wanted them to be able to see that there's an alternative. However, others don't see it that way. With so many unknowns about the health effects of e-cigs, Blake Wilson doesn't think the FDA should ban sales to everyone under 18. As someone who started off, you know, on tobacco at a young age, you know, I believe that, you know, anyone over the age of 16 should be allowed to buy it. But as e-cigarette shops spring up around mid-Missouri, so is the debate. When I asked co-owner James Yeager if he was okay with having children around the smoke, he said his position was as clear as the sign on the door. Well, we're certainly not selling them those products. Uh, um, um, I mean, I think that if their parents want to come here and they make the decision, I think that that's within the scope of how they should choose to, to run their family. For now, the unknowns remain about how children and adults will be affected by e-cigarettes in the future.